Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Yeah, okay to me. Problem solved? Problem, okay. yes. Problem solved. Oh, okay, yeah. You hear me? Yes, yes. I, I can hear you. Okay. Wonderful. You can uh, share your screen when you're ready. Yes, just a moment. Mm -hmm. So this was running, you checked it's working. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. This uh, is my uh, first block. Okay. The output is uh, the orbit, so the three components of the position and the two components of the velocity. And okay. now we have to uh, create the desired quaternion. Yes. Um, so I create a MATLAB function and uh, okay. Um, I will try in this way to uh, first create the DCM mm -hmm. and uh, with the LVLH uh, axis R1, R2, R3 and uh, then uh, convert the CM to quaternion. Or mm -hmm. I, I uh, remember that you um, convert the, the uh, yesterday converted the DCM inside the MATLAB function. So uh, yes. I, I think uh, copying uh, the, um, the code uh, inside the block, the symbolic block. Yes. Okay. Um, can I try to... Uh, export uh, to output DCM and then convert uh, in simulink with the block. I don't know because uh, yeah. I, I have this uh, idea. Okay, so the output uh, are uh, the DCM, uh, the home desk, that is uh, the omega, the tires omega, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, uh, one, two, three. And uh, we can then DCM. And the inputs uh, are, um, of course, uh, R, H, and uh, ORB. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I write the first the equation and then I convert the input. So it's better. Uh, yeah. Okay, the equation are, uh, uh, if Sorry. we want, yes. I'm not the only one uh, who is just seeing uh, simulink, simulink uh, and not uh, uh, your uh, MATLAB code. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, you're working on MATLAB, no? We're not seeing that. <laughs> uh, okay, so probably I just shared uh, only one window, so how can I share all the windows? Uh, you still uh, see yeah. only the, uh, the simulink. Yes. yes. Uh, green one. Now? Now? Okay, now we okay. see anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, welcome. No problem. Um, okay, um, what I'm doing, ah, the A3 that, uh, to, uh, that's uh, pointing to the earth, towards the earth, so uh, is uh, uh, what I call harbor, the position, of course, or divide to the norm. One, two, three. 
Okay. Um, uh, two is up um, the um, uh, H vector. R to H vector. And uh, R1 um, define uh, I also cross a two, a three. Okay, uh, the DCM is a uh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Cross both two. And uh, on this is a uh, no. okay. divided by the arm or one three uh, uh, squares. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah, the square. Squares, okay. Uh, not everything. Only uh, only the denominator. Yes. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what this okay? Mm. Uh, hold on a second. I'm not sure the parentheses are in the right place. Are they? Uh, these uh, uh, parentheses to uh, wait no. for so, the So, no, I think the. I'm confused. I think you need the parentheses before the square and remove it from where you are with the cursor right now. These because you, you, you're doing norm and then you squared instead. Here, you're doing the, the norm, oh, okay, 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 okay. The square of the vector, which is not a work, yeah. Uh, and so, you need another point, yeah. Yes, correct. I think so. Okay, so we had uh, this, um. That's uh, um, okay. I come back to simulink. So we have H and orb. H, um, H is uh, the cross over zero v zero, but their zero v zero are defined into the initialized um, in your initialized file. Right. It's actually, yeah, it's actually right there. So you actually have H. Okay. So if you run we these, can, uh, you can use it, yeah. A constant and, um, yes, okay. While orbits uh, come from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I I am not sure that uh, you could okay one uh, two or three um, simply go to um, sim out one Same for on uh, on this. Uh, 
Yeah, these these quantities is I mean you can plot them, but it's, you're not going to be able to see much. I mean the vectors okay. and images. Yeah. Okay, now uh, here is the problem on this year that. Uh, um, did you, try to run it? you want to try to run it to see if it crashes? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, just for. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Incredible, but uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Seems it works to work it. So uh, let me step a second back to the computation of the CM. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. So it's the square of the uh, fraction of the norms times uh, the second component of it. Yes. Minus the second. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, no problem. Um, first, or I uh, mm -hmm. plot something, or uh, I move to DCM. Or mm -hmm. I would move on. I mean, if you plot these quantities, you're not going to be able to really judge whether they make much sense. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, the, um, so uh, within the aerospace uh, block, uh, I think that is called DCM to quaternion, DCM to quaternion. Also, you do have the, um, the aerospace toolbox? Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> ah, uh, uh, maybe. Um, I, I have to use uh, something else because uh, someone no. doesn't done the book. Okay. Well, uh, to what I mean. but uh, um, okay. And the only then, thing is, uh, if you go inside, you need to. Can you double click on the block? Yeah. Intolerance. Okay, so determine four by one quaternion orientation vector from the three by three direction to some matrix. Um, yeah, as I recall, this uh, function has the scalar component of the quaternion as the first element, but all the equations that I gave you actually work with the quaternion with the scalar component as the last element, just to keep in mind. Remember that I need okay, that. Okay, so equation. we have to rearrange them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's okay, fine. So uh, um, if I uh, well understood, uh, these, uh, the output is uh, uh, that uh, the scalar components is the first component. Mm -hmm. In the, okay. And if you want to use the equations I gave you in the slides, though, those are for the scalar at the last component. That's it. But okay. Yeah. So. so yeah, in principle, this this does everything um, for you. So it's not like you need much more. Um, but for the the ones who do not have this toolbox, uh, remember that I posted a uh, a function. Um, let me share my screen real quick. So this is the function that we we showed yesterday. Um, it takes uh, you know same variables and puts together a three, two, one, DCM. And then I copy pasted the, 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 the function I share with you, but it's a little modified from the MATLAB one because if you look at this, the MATLAB one um, has this, you know, it does it, it can do it for multiple matrices at the same time. So I removed 
the for loop and the indexes everywhere they appear, these eyes, I, I remove them so that it does it for just one. You compare the two, for example, here is Q4 equals zero. In the original one is, is QI4 equals zero. And here there is an additional I. In my case, uh, I don't have it because the trace of the DCM. Um, let's see. All these other instructions, for example, the eyes are all gone. So uh, it just needs a little bit of adaptation because in this version we're doing it for one DCM only. But I guess there are other ways to modify this or just use it as it is. Um, yeah, I haven't tried to just use this as it is. I just copied basically everything that is from the second to last end through here without the four and I remove the eyes. Okay. That's what I've done if you want to, if you need to use this, but anyways. Okay. And then um, the couple of things, so you've done this, the Omega, okay, you have it. Uh, the two things that you will have to do, I guess now, yeah. uh, are rearranging the quaternion and also, um, you know, I, I wish I remembered why I ended up doing this, checking the dot product between the old quaternion and the new one. But I think I had a case when I was testing this software where it would uh, spit out, you know, between time steps, two very different quaternions that they did correspond to the same orientation, but they they were just jumping basically uh, in terms of uh, continuity. And so this helped with that issue. Um, so those are the two things that I recommend you do in your software now. I'm going to give you the screen back. Okay. Sure. I, I don't know. If I create uh, another function. Can you, can you share your screen again? Ah, yes, sure. That's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a uh, cool. Cool. Yes, and uh, uh, take cool. And I suggest that you also input uh, the previous queue. So basically, two inputs actually. Who just sold? The one, the one, yeah, Q old or something. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Cool, then cool. Sure. Okay. That's uh, so cool. This is the um, rearranging of uh, the, the input. So, um, uh, yes. Okay, so um, that the first component is uh, the four it's components four. of the school vector. Uh, and one, two, three. One. Okay, and then the uh, if uh, the dot product of kudas. And could have sold is uh, than zero. Mm -hmm. Dot uh, could as, uh, is equal to minus could as. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Um, don't forget the semicolon, otherwise, it will keep printing stuff. 
Sorry. At the end of the instruction inside the if uh, a semicolon at the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, outside. Uh, the the memory. Why is it not showing two inputs? Oh, now it does. Okay. okay. So this is old. Could mm -hmm. and uh, memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can flip the blocks, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me check if uh, works. Okay. Line three, column nine. What? Uh, oh. Uh, why? Cool. I think I had an instruction that initializes. If you desired something, um, because yeah, I don't know why. I think I would have been. I was having the same problem. Yeah, the problem is that to uh, uh, wait. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, initial condition. Okay, that could be the problem. Let's see now. No. Could have sold on the part. Hmm. Yeah, cool hold. Ah. Uh, okay. Cool hold. Okay. Uh, let me check. Cool hold is this. Okay, could as memory insert. Okay. Mm. No. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the last thing, uh, uh, the conversion from inertia to body, right? Yes. So, what I suggest is you take um, what you've already done. Assuming you've completed homework one, uh, the block that simulates the dynamics and uh, um, and the quaternions, and you take uh, that quaternion to put together the rotation matrix for y to omega. Make sense? Uh, sorry, no, I didn't understand. Sorry. So what, what we're going to do now is uh, the key yeah. desired is the desired quaternion of the spacecraft in the inertial reference frame, and that's okay, so you don't need to modify that. But okay. the omega, the way it's expressed now, the omega desired, is, uh, is expressed in a basis that is in ECI, is not uh, the basis of uh, the spacecraft. So you need to rotate that vector projected yeah. into the spacecraft axis and to do so you need a DCM that goes from yes. inertia to, yeah, inertia to, to, to body spacecraft. and yeah. and to assemble that DCM you need the quaternion for example of the spacecraft okay so, it will be, so the homework one was doing that it was simulating the dynamics and kinetics uh, the kinetics and kinematics um, so that you have for example the quaternion history so you can grab those blocks and put them in here so that you have some somewhere else you have a queue that is being generated and you can put together the DCM. Yeah, okay. The queue, but, uh, the queue of the I, uh, to be honest, I didn't finish homework one. And, okay. Uh, the, I missed the last block. block. Oh, I... um, okay. Well, it looks like you have 
So the last yeah. one, the comparison. Oh, you have to do the quaternion. Okay, that's really uh, I have to uh, the normalization, right? Okay. Uh, that uh, the last thing to do is to normalize. And then uh, to. No, I think that uh, is. Uh, for the quaternion, quaternion side that is uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, this figure. Oh, problem is this problem. Mm. Okay. So, assuming that everything is working fine here, yeah. basically in in the other model, you only need uh, the top and bottom. You don't need this or angle uh, part in between. So you can yeah. copy everything. Yeah. Um, and paste it, but then you can also remove the yeah. other angle stuff. Yeah, okay. That's um, way to end the simulation. Oh, it's running, okay. Okay, probably I can, in the meantime, I can create, uh, I don't know, a subsystem. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Why? So, okay. <clears throat> okay, it's quite a slow down by from the, the other simulation. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I uh, copy all these blocks, in the subsystem, Okay. Uh, this uh, works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I place all the block in subsystem uh, where the inputs are inputs are the uh, Q. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just a moment. So, to have a, a clear view, I um, okay. Then, uh, from homework one, I copy these blocks. I create another subsystem. Mm -hmm. Okay, and mm, uh, these blocks. Uh, yeah, you're gonna erase them. I don't need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now these uh, must be uh, no, an output. Mm -hmm. We need uh, the body quaternion, so this is the, how our uh, will be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is uh, this, uh, body quaternion. Uh, 
I don't like the content preview. So, uh, okay, so here we we need the input. So, oh, sorry. And um, Q, that's the QB. Mm -hmm. no. so, so we have a block in the Earthquake toolbox that does pretend to DCM as well, right? Yeah, just so, moments uh, because of yeah, it's the, dangerous. Start the print. Dangerous because now our quaternion is big new. Yeah. I don't know if I'll use it. Uh, okay. you, know, you, need, you need to put together a DCM. Um, okay, now uh, what I have to do is uh, to uh, create uh, the DCM to convert uh, inertia to body, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so we have the quaternion. And then we can, yes, we can convert the quaternion to uh, direction cosmic matrix. Yes. Yeah, I'm just afraid that this is going to expect uh, the quaternion, you know, with the scalar at the first component. So, ah. so if that's the case, uh, you need to rearrange, you know. Um, yeah, in the yeah before you in the original it. in the original form. Uh, could yes, say, yes. Yeah. So the scalar is definitely the first one for MATLAB at least. Yeah, I'm sorry that I gave you everything the other way around, but I was yeah. I was used to that. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's, yeah. I I can use uh, your function. Um, or with uh, the original form of the quaternion. So I have to. I can I can put it in the chat. It's this function here. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Okay. That's what I'm using. Um, um, I lost. Oh, okay. Okay. The function? Yeah. Uh, no, I uh, put it in the chat actually. If you copy the text from the chat, it should be there. Uh, mm. I can see. You cannot? No. I send it. That's what. We don't <laughs> <really> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Now it's here. Ah, okay. 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 <laughs> well. So yeah, this this expression is the same one we see in the slides. Okay. Here. Create oh uh, MATLAB function. That is the same. So Okay, there's a body cool this M. Okay. So the input so uh, is um, okay. This is the DCM mm -hmm. and um uh, so the output of this uh, must uh, multiply it. Um, matrix uh, the omega desired. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this. Sorry, this function gave us uh, 
um, it's called the inertia to body, but uh, actually it's just a quaternion to DCM, or is it specific for inertia to body? No, yeah, I called it that way, but yeah, you're right, it's quaternion, yeah. yeah. I, I, I named it that way to, I guess, remember what I was doing. Yeah, you're right, it's, you can just call it quaternion to DCM. Okay, so this uh, will be the uh, system. That is, uh, so this is the final omega desired that you can eventually use. This is in the oh, body okay. axis. And then other outputs okay. of these blocks should be the Q desired of this subsystem, Q the Q desired. desired. Hey guys, can you can you mute your mics unless you're talking? Sorry. I'm fine. Q desire and uh, and then the last one that I had, um, and this, we will see why uh, when we talk about the feedback control uh, that I'm suggesting you to implement is the time derivative of omega desired. So I have a numerical. Uh, um, Derivation of yeah of the other side as a block yeah um, this one yeah okay so uh, uh, we output uh, both on on this B and uh, also and the derivative. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, how can I say I can name um, that? No. Uh, omega desired dot. Okay. Yes, dot. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. So, perfect. Okay. So, this, uh, aside from tweaking and cleaning it up, it's now. Um, allowing you to create on a given orbit the desired quaternion and angular velocity to track LVLH. So those three outputs will be useful as a reference trajectory in terms of orientation for control yeah. purposes. Um, the few things that you may want to do is stop time is T final and you want to call the initialize uh, in you know the init functions, um, you want again, yeah. Uh, the initialize is uh, I think it's called initialize. If you just grab the one that I gave you, um, yeah. I don't know if it works with the dot m. It definitely does with, without. So. Okay. Yeah. It does. And uh, okay. Fly. The. And then I think you had uh, some number for the final time. You can just call it TF because it's part of the initialize. So at least it will run for an hour. Yeah. TF here. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. We on this bit. Let me see. Uh, I'm not plotting the omega desired, but if you want, what I can do is look at my model and uh, put a scope yeah. there and just just compare as if they are the same, just for fun. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. The omega desired, for example. Uh, okay, I'm going to run mine.
I have to stop the sharing? No, 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 no. Um, I was suggesting just uh, as a sanity check, since you should have the same initial eyes and the same everything, pretty much. Um, uh, maybe not. Uh, they should behave the same way. The only thing is, uh, if you go inside uh, uh, the first subsystem, body quaternion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I can't. I can't really compare because minus the closed loop, anyways. Um, the J. Now that you have the initialize, is you can actually use the one in the initialize. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. Oh yeah. Called, uh, uh, yeah. So we, so that we have the same. Hmm? Is one. Yeah, just J. Yeah. Yeah. So call it J. Oh, you can just type J in there in the block. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the initial conditions as well. You want to make sure that they are coming from the initialize. That's uh, so the omega zero. That is. Uh, yeah. So we are we're working with the same with the same uh, setup, you know. Yeah. From zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, zero zero zero. Uh, well, it will eventually be an actual torque um, that will be coming from the momentum exchange devices. So, mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, mm, I can see well, the, the part is that we'll, we'll, we'll change the, the block of the dynamics entirely. We'll have the momentum exchange devices, it will be a lot more complicated. So now, uh, yeah, just leave zero, 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 and um, zero and everything else. But we'll probably throw away eventually the first block here because it will not be just a rigid body. Yeah. Uh, without anything inside, it will be a rigid sure. body moving things inside. Okay. And, uh, and that's zero, 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 one. What zero? I don't know what to say. Is it yeah. zero? Wonderful. Does anyone have any questions? Okay. Been following what was going on? Is this useful? Yeah. I'm sure yes, it was. I'm sure it's useful for those who are not very familiar with Simulink. So, okay. Um, yeah, just to recap what we have developed till now. So we have a block that computes, that integrates the, um, um, the, the omegas and the torque and get the orientation of the spacecraft. So it gets the torque and it put out the quaternion body that is the orientation of the spacecraft, right? Correct. Then we have um, another block that solves the orbit. So compute the position and the velocity of the spacecraft. Mm -hmm. And then another block that gets the position of the spacecraft along the orbit and use it to compute the um, uh, desired orientation and also the uh, desired velocity. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we will then uh, put in something that close the feedback between the desired omega and the torque. Correct. OK. Yes. And as I just said, the, uh, the Euler's equations block will uh, be replaced by something quite complicated, more complicated, because we will have uh, generally variable speed quantum moment jars, we'll have you know, rotating wheels that we can uh, control in RPM and control also the gimbal angle. So we'll close the loop on the gimbal angles as, uh, as the actuation variables and also the RPM of the 
of the wheels. Okay. But we may also keep the same block and just add the block before to compute the torque, right? Or we um, well, yes. We can say that that is our process and then we have to put the actuators in front. Yes. Um, I would rather do it a little different just because, well, I mean, yeah, it's a way. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm talking about just about the concept uh, to be sure I got the yeah, framework the concept, where correct. we are going to build. Yeah, but the reality is that the dynamics of the system, uh, spacecraft plus uh, the actuators, uh, you know, even for example, the inertia matrix of the entire assembly, the entire system, spacecraft plus actuators, is not just J anymore, it's J plus the contributions of all those uh, systems, uh, the variable speed quantum moment gyros with the rotation matrices involved. So, well, I'll do the derivation of the equations, and, and I think it's uh, okay. preferable to have a new block. Uh, the principle is the same that you know it takes in the the torques, the the, the commanded actuators, uh, pos positions and rates, and it generates as output the angular acceleration of the spacecraft, uh, exactly like it's like it's happening now in the Euler's equations block, which is very simple. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. Become a little more elaborate because there's yeah, okay, because in this case the actuators are embedded in the process, so it's not. To that easy to decouple the two systems. Yeah. Okay. The actuators are part of the dynamics. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, any last minute questions? This afternoon, uh, what I will do is continue on the environmental torques because we started on the top, and I think they're important to know. Uh, because the way I see it is, is part of the dynamics, really. Even though we use them as torques, uh, as control torques sometimes, they, they, you need to know that that's the environment you're flying through anyways. Um, so it will take a while to finish that, but tomorrow I'll definitely want to start on deriving the equations that you do have in the notes, by the way. Everything that I'm deriving is, is in the notes. Uh, you have my handwritten notes. Um, I will start deriving the equations for the dynamics with variable speed contra moment gyros so that we can uh, attack the rest of the homework too uh, sooner rather than later. Again, my goal is that you really are in good shape, almost everything done by Wednesday. So you're going to have to think about it after. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll see. You can, you can finish after Wednesday, but I would like to, you know, put you in a situation where you don't need much more after that. Make sense? Yeah, sure. Questions, yes. questions, questions? Was this what uh, some of you were hoping for for this morning? So? Yeah, it was very helpful. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see you in, what, three hours? Let me see. Yeah. One, two, three hours. Uh, sorry, so are we having lessons also the next week? Yeah, I have Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday through Wednesday, yes. Oh, one okay. Hour, one hour Monday. Okay, I don't see it on the schedule. What? Uh, no? Or... Yes, yes, uh, there is. Um, uh, it's because uh, there's only from Monday to um, Friday, but uh, uh, it goes uh, also to the, the 31, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Scale. Uh, okay, okay, I'll find it out. So it's the same uh, for schedule also from Monday to Wednesday of next week. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Do you see it? Yeah. I, I thought I put it on the calendar. Yep. So, and it will be mostly, you know, working to finish the homework, I hope. Uh, but also, if we have time, I, you know, I'll keep working on, on other concepts that are absolutely important for spacecraft uh, control. Sounds good? 
Yes. As yes. always, yes. let me know if everything is going okay, if the pace is right, if it's too many topics or not enough. Um, but I think we're keeping a good pace. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. See you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.